that doesn't get your attention, huh? How about it? Can a 115 horsepower motorcycle challenge a 650 horsepower Corvette? Is that at all possible in this day and age? I don't know, but we're going to find out in this video. So stay tuned. Let me tell you a little bit about this uh, track app that we're using. So the app we're going to use is made by HP Tuners, and it's called Track Addict. And it's kind of fun. We're going to do the eighth of a mile instead of the quarter of a mile. Uh, there's a lot of gendarmes and a lot of people down here in Mexico looking for speeders, so we have to behave ourselves a little bit. So, But we'll do it an eighth of a mile. We'll get a pretty good idea. We'll get an idea of how the motorcycle matches up to the Corvette, and we'll see just how it all, you know, pans out. And you're going to see that in just a little while. Now, I've pushed the red button on the top, and uh, that says you're ready to drive. It's ready to record data. And as soon as I move the phone in my hand, it looks like you're driving somewhere, and then it starts to time uh, the eighth of a mile, which is what I've got to program it in for. So there's some of the data just flashed by. We'll look back at the data uh, a little later on in the video here. But it gives you an idea how it works, and it works off the satellite. It's pretty cool. Um, I think we'll have some fun with this. Track Addict, pretty impressive. There's a list of all the data you can transfer to your phone and everything uh, from your phone onto your computer. But first of all, let's talk about the two combatants, okay? We have a Corvette and a motorcycle. And let's do a little comparo of the two of them right now. Okay, let's take a look at the two vehicles. The first one will take the motorcycle. It's a 2015 Yamaha FJ09, um, liquid cooled, about 847 cc's, three cylinder engine, um, fuel injected, 462 pounds is the weight, and uh, it has about 115. 115, 115 horsepower, and according, now you're ready for this, according to the stats, I looked it up uh, online, it has a 0 60 of about 2.9 seconds from 0 to 60, and uh, I'm reading off my cheat sheets here, at quarter mile about 11.2 seconds, or 10.97, weight around there, around 120 miles an hour, wow! For a little three-cylinder bike with 115 horsepower, those are pretty good numbers. Those are Corvette's the 06 numbers. I'm telling you, this is going to be an interesting race. Now let's go to the, uh, the other side. Okay, in the other corner we have the 2017 Corvette Z06. Supercharged, 650 horsepower, 650 foot-pounds of torque. It weighs uh, about... 3,560 pounds <laughs> compared to what the Yamaha has. Um, and it has a 0 to 60 in a, a supposedly about 2.95 seconds if you have the race tires on the car, which I don't. I have the street tires. And a uh, quarter mile around 11.2, about 127 miles an hour. So there you have it. Two combatants which you might have thought when I first introduced it was not a very fair fight. But now that they give you some stats, it's a pretty doggone fair fight. So let's see who wins. Let's go out and run these two cars, the, the car and the bike, and take the data down. The, my uh, cell phone will collect the data. And let's see what the outcome is.
Are you ready? Okay, start rolling the video. Get video, make sure you're videotaping and want, give me a thumbs up when you're videotaping. You ready? Okay, let's look at the Track Addict app for an eighth of a mile, and it's going to show us some data. Uh, at the top is the one that we want. We're going to click on that. It's going to show us that the Yamaha did 8.628 at 85 miles an hour in the eighth of a mile. I take it easy on the equipment. I'm not trying to beat everything up. I do the same thing with the Corvette. We're going to have some fun with it. We get kind of an idea how both of them do. I treated them kind of both the same way. So I think it's a fair assessment, but not terribly, terribly accurate. But we're having some fun with it anyway. So with that, without further ado, let's go and do the Corvette.
Well, there you have it, Corvette versus motorcycle. I was really interested to see how this worked out, and it's pretty, pretty close. I mean, if you look at the Yamaha run, the best, the best run on the Yamaha was 8.62, and the best run on the Corvette was 8.54, so it's pretty doggone close. It was closer than I thought it was going to be. I thought the Corvette would have run away with it, but um, I think if you went higher speeds, like if you went for a half-mile run or something like that, the Corvette might do a little bit better. I don't know. But I, anyway, this was fun. I feel very blessed to be able to have both these vehicles in my garage, and I hope that you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed doing it, because it was a lot of fun to do, and it's fun to get out and rattle these uh, vehicles around a little bit. Anyway, so thanks for stopping by. Hit the like button. Hit the subscription button, if you would, and uh, hit the bell. We'll let you know when the next one comes out, and uh, thanks for stopping, and we'll see you again real soon.